The focus of this lesson is on writing the equation of a quadratic function in standard form given the graph. So let's go ahead and write down the standard form of a quadratic function since that's our goal. f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And this is where h comma k, that ordered pair, is the vertex of our quadratic function. And then also we know that x comma f of x is any point on the graph. So it's just any point. And then a tells us generally how the graph opens. Does it open up? Does it open down? It opens up if it's positive, it opens down if it's negative. So but so we from the graph don't necessarily know the exact value of a. That's unknown. So then if my goal is to get f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k filled in, then um, we need to fill in the pieces that we know. So Ultimately, the vertex is 2 comma 5. How do I know that? Look at your graph. That is the high point. And a vertex is always either the high point or the low point. As far as any other point on the graph, you really could pick any other point, but we do have another point that's labeled. So we have 4 comma 1 labeled, so let's just use that. And then again, we don't know the value of a. So at the, at the end of the day, we could kind of fill in what we do know. So f of x is 1. a we don't know, so we'll keep a. x is 4. We're supposed to subtract off h, so subtract off 2. That whole value is squared. And then we add our k, so our k is 5. So you can see, just from what we're given, we're given everything but a. So ultimately our first step is to solve for a. And how are we going to do that? We're just going to simplify what we were given. So we have 1 equals a times 4 minus 2 is 2, and then you square that is 4. So a times 4 plus 5. You want to subtract off. Now careful here, sometimes people want to add these together. You cannot do that. In fact, let's change the look of this. Usually you put your coefficient in front. So this is 1 equals 4a plus 5. That way you don't accidentally add 4 and 5 together. Because that would be incorrect. Let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 4 equals 4a. Divide by 4 on both sides. You get a is negative 1. So we actually figured out our a piece. We know a is negative 1. Now, what was our goal? What are we actually trying to do? I mean, that was like kind of our step 1. What's our goal? Well, our goal is to actually write our quadratic function. We want to write what it is. So basically what that means is you need to fill in everybody but the general x and the general f of x. You leave those alone because those represent every single point on your line, so you don't fill those in in your final equation. So we have f of x equals a is negative 1, so we could just put a negative, that's the same thing, um, times x minus our h, so minus 2, and then that quantity is squared and then plus our k, which is 5, so plus 5. And ultimately we're done. That is our quadratic function in standard form, which makes sense because our a value is negative and we can see that our graph opens down. We can see from that equation what the vertex is. It's 2 comma 5. And you can go from there.